Hi, this is Jay from Naked Hobby, and today we're going to be showing you how to work with bare metal foil on an RC application. Uh, we have a Red Cat 64 body that we're going to run some of this bare metal foil gold leaf on to kind of tie in with the bumpers and stuff. So in front of us, you can see the basic tools needed to do this little project. <clears throat> uh, it's as simple as a pair of scissors, the bare metal foil you plan on working with, some Q-tips, and a sharp X-Acto knife with fresh blades. So first thing we wanna do when applying this stuff is to make sure that you have no lint or debris on the body where you're gonna be putting it. So I'm going over with a silk cloth just to make sure nothing's in the area where you're going to be doing. The goal is to make this panel line here gold to match the rest of the accents of the car. So first thing we need to do is gently pull the foil out of its packaging. And we are going to do this in sections, starting at the rear of the car, center section for the door, and then the front fender. So what we wanna do is cut a piece to length, slightly larger than what we're doing. So in this case, I'm gonna probably cut about a three quarter inch wide strip, about 12 inches long. Hold it up for a little comparison. Trim a little off the edge. Looking good. So now you're going to very carefully peel the bare metal foil off of its backer. Try and keep it straight as possible. If you pull it all the way off, it will curl up on you. So usually I like to just stick it on there and then unroil it off the backing to keep it from rolling up on you. But if it does, it's not the end of the world. So start in the center and gently Pull it on down. So now that we have our piece in place, you're gonna use the Q-tip to gently smooth the piece of bare metal foil out. Now the smoothing does two things. It puts it onto the material you're working with nice and smooth, but it also polishes the metal as you're smoothing it out. So you want, in this case, I'm gonna start on the end and in the middle and work my way out to the outer edges. So we're gonna do the whole middle first, because it's got that recessed body line. And just take your time, it is not a race. And even if it gets a little wrinkled, smoothing it out will still give you the desired look you want. It will lay flat. So now that we got the center ran, we'll start on the top edge, run that flat. Trying not to tear it as you go. And don't be afraid to swat, switch out your Q-tip once it starts getting a little fuzzy. And do 
just gently work it into the body line. I did get a little tear there, but when I cut it, it will straighten the piece out. You just want to go nice and easy and get around all the edges and you will see that it starts to conform to the area. Switch sides because we're getting fuzzy again. Make sure you work it into the body line. And that's another cool thing about this product. If you have door jams or body lines that it has to conform to, it will actually sink down into it as you're rubbing it up. So now we're fuzzy again. On to the next. You will go through a few Q-tips during this process. Just make sure everything's laid down nice and uniform. Now for the final part. Once you have the bare metal foil laid down, everything's all nice and smooth. You're gonna wanna take a fresh X-Acto knife blade because it is actual metal. And I am using number 11 blades, stainless. Those are kind of the go-to hobby blade. We also sell those here at Mankin Hobby. From here, we are going to gently cut around the surface. I'm gonna start at the rear, rear body line, or the one by the door. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and pressed in there, because that's where I'm gonna be cutting. We're just gonna cut that right there. You don't have to go too far. Now we're gonna run from the door to the back edge. In this part, you definitely want to take your time, do a slow drag with a knife. So you get a nice crisp line. Slow and steady wins the race here. So now, this is a tricky part because I'm gonna try and do this in one piece. I need to wrap this corner Just gonna gently pull around. To the bottom line, now we're just going to connect the lines. Start back at the door jam. Nice slow pull. So come back, back here. And now for the fun part. Grab a piece of your extra and 
slowly pull it up, leaving the section you had just cut out. So from here, I'm gonna split it in two and I'm gonna pull away from the area I'm keeping to try and keep a nice line. And just go slow and work it up. Again, top section. Oh, I got a little tear there, but that's all right. I'll show you how to get a straggler. A nice slow pull. Another little straggler, but that's all right. So now we got the main section pulled. We're going to take our hobby knife and just get the little stragglers here super gently. You're just going to put the tip of the knife under and slowly peel it up. And from here, what you're going to do is give one final rub down. Let's put it all in place. So you're going to slowly go on the edges and just work it down. And one more little straggler I missed. Just keep smoothing it down, work your edges down. Little polish. And you end up with gold trim. As simple as that. And here is the finished product. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Plus, head on over to NankinHobby.com and use promo code BUILDUPAPR, that's B-U-I-L-D-U-P-A-P-R, for 10% off all RC and modeling tools for projects like this one or anything else you have going. Orders over $50 ship for free. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.